She's gonna be in the video, you know that, like her head's in frame. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome back to my channel on this fine Thursday. Today I am here and joined with a special guest. This is my sister, Amanda. If you do not know Amanda, you clearly haven't seen my first several videos, which is good on you because they're awful. She has a channel that she's going to be starting and using and doing her own thing, which is very cool and I'm very excited about it, so I will definitely link her in the description and you can click somewhere on her face at some point in this video when I reference it again, or right now that works too. So we are here and we're in our manufactured Christmas sweaters and Santa hats because we are going to be doing a Christmas video. Now you may think, why are you at a table? And why do you have a pan in front of you? Well, to answer your question, I am just going to bring this here. This is a gingerbread house kit from the grocery store I work at. It's called like a cottage, is it like, no, is it like a house kit? It's, I guess it's a house kit, but it's like, authentic German Hexen house with candy and cookie decorations. Whoa. So, what Amanda and I are going to do here is try to assemble this thing. Okay, now I gotta open this thing and it is like stuck together with tape, so we're gonna try and not die. Woo, and it, the thing that's nice about this is what the f Are you kidding me? What? It's just confectioner sugar. There's not like you have to make the confectioner sugar. You have to make the icing. That makes me so mad. What a ripoff. This is like a $20 gingerbread house and they make you make the icing. And what's in here? No one knows. Oh my god, the little oh, e they're edible. They're, they're edible people. Okay, that's very cool. So we're gonna try and do this. Okay, so this. Okay, this is the icing bag which is necessary. Very necessary. And then we've got our little gingerbread thing. I don't want to show them. <laughs> gingerbread. I don't want to open these yet until we have the frosting made. So we're going to make the frosting. OK, so now I have to get a bowl. I didn't realize that this would include cooking, guys. Now, fun fact, I have never removed the yolk from an egg. So, so what you do is you crack the <laughs> egg crack. and dig out the yolk. It doesn't work like that, Amanda. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and he does this. Ah, enjoys. Okay, yolk is separated. Some Very poorly. Some fell on the floor, but you know, we're gonna work with it. We've got the egg white. We'll have to add a few drops of vinegar, it says, after the egg white is stiff. I don't know, this is kind of just what it said to do. So I'm gonna be like, is that stiff? Is that a stiff egg white? I think maybe. So it said a couple drops, so I'm gonna go with a fourth half, like an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay. Do not try this at home. Yeah, don't try this, kids. It just says to kind of mix the instructions are right there. So what it, it's literally saying on the back of this box to beat egg white and mix a few drops of vinegar. And like, is it all just supposed to, is, it, is there no water? Like I'm... Well, you're gonna I'm very try. confused. You're gonna try, you're gonna fail, and we're gonna find out. That's literally all it says. So it did ask for like one egg white, right? Good, because that's going in here. I don't know, I feel like this may or may not work. I feel like it will not work. I'm pretty confident on the not working side too, actually. Like, look at this, you're only using an egg white. I thought you can't eat raw eggs. Like, I don't... I was like very confident that that was a thing that you were not supposed to do. Guys, this isn't working. Maybe if I add water, it'll make it better. <laughs> yes, let's add water. Let's add water. I mean, because I feel like we're already screwed to begin with. I think he just ruined it. Um, I think it was already ruined. Wait, I might have fixed it. Okay, that took a lot of effort and it was not planned. I didn't realize that it didn't come with icing, but I think I figured it out. May have screwed it up, but um, here's our icing in the little icing bag. What Amanda and I are going to do now is we're going to try and follow the instructions, if any, are on the back of this. Then we are going to make this freaking gingerbread house. 
We've got like house size. Okay, going We've on right here. We've got the walls. Walls. Um, I don't know, what is it supposed to look like? Oh, uh, wait, I get it, okay. We're gonna, okay, I'm, we're just constructing right now. There's a little itty bitty spot right here for the tree. Let's assemble the gingerbread house. I'm gonna cut the little tip off the nozzle. <gasps> okay, 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 move your thing. Move it, move it, move it! Wait. This was a. This is a. This is not gonna end well. I obviously put too much water in it. Is it gonna? Is that gonna? No. <laughs> I'm a disaster. What? And then. Ah! Oh, we have failed. I'm optimistic. Okay. Well, first of all, there's a hole in the roof, and that's a problem. Nice icing. I'm gonna look at. Okay. We have had years of experience. Yeah, absolutely, I'm a professional baker. Now that we kind of have the house like assembled and stuck, we're gonna come around. Okay, let's do the front. Okay, around here, a little bit. Stick in that tree. Is it gonna stick? No, is it leaning? Yeah, but you know, <laughs> we're gonna live with it. Um, it's definitely artsy. So artistic like freedom. I'm decorating. I'm a baker. I'm a professional. Mm. I think. Okay, so that's that side. Y'all can see. Oh, no! Get the star! It's falling! So this is what this gingerbread house is supposed to look like. Or this is what it was advertised to look like. But honestly, I think ours is better and I'm gonna show you. It's very cute. It's very nice and uh, modern. So here's, here's the side of it and then you guys can see the back. Um, the house is a little bit off the off the foundation, but you know what? That's okay. It's a new modern design. Um, and then we're gonna come over to this side, and of course, some of the things have fallen a bit, but that's okay. That's a normal normal thing for these kind of houses. And then the front here. So you see, we've got a little path leading up to the door, and a little tree, and this nice old family standing on pretzels. Um, <laughs> And I think it looks cute, way better than whatever this was supposed to be. Oh, I guess that dog thing is supposed to go right here. It was. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think we both do. We went through hell and back to get here. Um, I probably should have read the directions before we did this, but you know, you do what you gotta do. He doesn't um, do directions. No, I'm an American. <laughs> Make sure if you thought this was funny to give this video a big thumbs up because we deserve it after going through this traumatic <laughs> experience, I think. Giving us a like is really cool. Make sure also if you enjoyed this, comment down below. And if you want to see Amanda back on my channel more often, totally tell us because we can collab all the time if you desire to see us working together on our channel. And I think it'd be very, very cool. And you can always subscribe because I post a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday videos are kind of like this. Tuesday videos are more LGBT related. So be sure to check those out. I'm also on a collab channel called Quite the Collab and you can check us out. The link will be in the description and they're great. And I'm with six other awesome people. And, <laughs> and we post videos every single day with a different topic every week. So be sure to subscribe to that channel as well. I'm still doing my gift keyboard giveaway. <laughs> So the video is called Best iPhone App Ever. I'll link it below and you can go click on that and read all the instructions that are in the description and watch the video and you'll see how to enter and what prizes are left. So be sure to go do that. You can also follow me on all my social media at the Riley Kyle. And for right now, I think Amanda's are at Oreo1603. So in by 03, I mean 03. So O-R-E-O-1603 on Twitter and Instagram. Is that right? So you can follow me and you can follow her and I'll put her links in the description as well and we really hope you enjoyed this. So I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!